Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sorcerer's Apprentice. It is winter time here in northern Indiana, my favorite time of year. Snow and ice everywhere. Uh, the problem with that is not too many garage sales. So during winter time, what I like to do is step up my RA game and just uh, save garage sales for garage sale season, right? So um, the other day I went to a couple different Myers. I want to show you what I got, teach you a lesson on expiration dates and a really good lesson, lesson on relationship. Ready? Okay. So, I uh, found some health and beauty stuff. Meyer has some really great markdowns. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, Meyer is a local Midwest chain for me. I'm sorry if you don't live in the Midwest. They're kind of like a Walmart. They have grocery, health and beauty, auto, clothes, um, just about everything. And it's laid out similar to a Walmart. But they really have some great markdowns on their clearance shelf. Um, I just love going through uh, some of their stuff here. Um, so, I've got some health and beauty stuff here. Um, this I'm going to point out. This is uh, Crest toothpaste. This was marked down to $1.99. It was like a 60% markdown. Um, what you want to watch for with toothpaste, as with a lot of health and beauty products, is expiration dates. Um, now, when you when I pulled this up, there are several different listings. There's a listing for the single tube, which actually is an Amazon pantry listing, which means you can't sell on it. Only Amazon gets to sell Amazon pantry. But thankfully. There's a lot of other listings. There's a two-pack, four-pack, six-pack. Those are uh, third-party seller created, and they still have pretty decent ranks, not quite as well as the pantry. Um, but uh, the best ranked listing that I saw was the two-pack. So I got multiples of two, as you can see. But what I had to do was look carefully at expiration dates. Um, two of these have an expiration of December of 19. Two of them have expiration of March of 20, and eight of them have expiration of August of 20, so it worked out really well. I can put these in two packs together and uh, keep like expiration dates together. You don't want to mix expiration dates. Now, the lesson I want to teach you about expiration dates is, um, so Amazon, if you have something in there, uh, that is time sensitive, Amazon will deactivate your listing when it gets to 60 days before expiration, and then you're responsible to dispose of it. So, my rule of thumb, this is a lesson I want to teach you, my rule of thumb is um, if an item is less than six months away from expiration, I don't even source it, okay? If it's six to nine months away, I want it to have a pretty low rank because I want it to move quickly, right? I don't want to get to that 60-day point. Um, if it's 9 to 12 uh, months from expiration, I'm more lenient with the, with the expiration date. Um, if it's over uh, 12 months, so like some of these, like I said, are August of 20, okay, that's well over 12 months. I really don't care what the rank is, okay? I'm going to send it in because a year is plenty of time to try to sell something, okay? That's just my rule of thumb, all right? That's not a hard and fast rule. If you want to make a different rule for yourself, that's fine. Just letting you guys know what I do, all right? I um, found these Stanley mugs. These are were on clearance for $9.50, and they're selling for $25. Bucks. Um, payout is pretty good, but the rank is what bowled me over. The rank is $1,900 in sports. Now, you may ask, why is something with such a low rank on clearance? Well, there's several different reasons. Um, one reason might be that Stanley is changing the design or changing the packaging for this. And so uh, Meyer or Walmart or wherever you're sourcing is trying to get rid of their old stock before they get the new stock. Okay, I see that frequently. Uh, but what that means is, you know, opportunity for us, third-party sellers. Uh, got some of these before, found some more, um, paid $2. Those are selling for 12 Rank is 11000 in office. Really, really good rank. Also got some sports items here. Um, you guys might have seen this in my last video. That's going to be a merchant fulfilled item because of the chemical there. Um, but I bought these for $5.50 and I'm selling them for $12 bucks plus shipping. So, you know, the payout is really good there. These also are merchant fulfilled uh, because of the chemical. Why this one isn't merchant fulfilled, I don't know. But for some reason I can send this in. You know, Amazon is not very consistent sometimes with what they consider hazmat, meaning you can't FBA, and what they don't consider ha hazmat, meaning you can but um, anyway, one thing to look for with this, this hunting stuff is some of them will specifically say, you know, 2018 formula, okay? And you want to kind of watch that. I'll still buy them um, because a lot of hunters don't really care if it's the older formula. But once we get close to the next season, you know, then I'll, I'll just, I'll probably trash my stock because, you know, a hunter doesn't want to get 2018 formula for the 2019 season. Anyway, 
that's just something to look for. Um, field points, got some of those before too. These are pretty cool. 75% uh, off at $1.50. Uh, those are selling for 11 bucks a piece. Hot glove treatment, again, you know, like I said, this is February, okay, and baseball season is coming up. So why would this be in clearance? I don't know. It could be that, you know, they're changing the packaging or something. Uh, you guys have seen me get this oil before. Uh, this is a great brand of oil. Meyer frequently does a buy one, get one free sale, and when they do, I scan them. Now, one thing I've noticed is uh, if you've seen my videos from a year ago or two years ago, you see that I buy, that I've bought a lot of different varieties of this. But what I've noticed is Amazon has started jumping on the listings and, uh, you know, making them pantry listings and selling them at prices that I can't even buy them for, okay? So, uh, but there's still a couple of flavors um, that I'm finding that I can sell, and this is one of them here. Paid uh, seven dollars and ninety cents a piece at the at the, you know, buy one get one free, um, and then I'm selling them for twenty nine dollars a piece. So good profit there. Fairy garden accessory kit again. Garden season is coming up. Don't know why those are on clearance. Maybe the company went out of business. Who knows? Okay. Found some toys at seventy five percent off. That's really cool. Look at these bike helmets. These are so cool. 75% off. These got little poodles on them, right? You got this cool design here. Um, and look at this. Minnie Mouse with the ears and the bow. Is that cute or what? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So here's where I want to talk about relationship. So you guys hear me talk a lot about relationship. And usually what I mean is uh, develop relationships with suppliers, okay? And that could be you know, who knows, auction companies, estate sale companies, whatever, or wholesalers or whatever, um, or stores, store managers, all right? I mean, I have relationships with all kinds of different people. Um, so you can have uh, future transactions. That's valuable, but I also mean just in your everyday life, okay? Now, at, at Meyer here, I may never see the cashier again, but I'm still going to be a super nice guy, right? So she saw me throw all these bike helmets up on the, uh, on the, the checkout, counter and she said oh wonder what he's gonna do with all those maybe he's got a bunch of kids she says do you have five kids i said i have seven kids and we chatted oh my gosh seven kids how do you keep up blah 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 you know just had a great time talking okay so you know we developed a relationship there for what the 10 minutes that i was standing there and that may and we may never see each other again but let me tell you what that did for me a lot of these bike helmets did not scan properly okay so you notice they're 70 percent off it says pay five bucks Pay six twenty-five. Okay, a lot of these were ringing up full price, and they weren't ringing up at the at the proper price. So, what she did is, she just gave me a huge discount, even beyond the price that's here. I mean, by the time she rang all of these up, at whatever price she was ringing up, I, I ended up saving like nine dollars on the total. I, I did. I calculated, you know, what I would have paid with the clearance tags. And what she actually charged me, I've saved like nine bucks on the price of these helmets. So relationship is important, even if it's only for a brief time. Relationship isn't necessarily lifelong, although those are extremely valuable. Sometimes it's just a five minute thing and it can really, really benefit you. So my total bill here was $294 from two Meyer stores and my net profit after cost of goods and all Amazon fees, my net profit is $443. So I think I did pretty good. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.